Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. A dreaded gun Zubair Abdul Karim Qureshi detained as per the instruction of Police Commissioner Bhushan Kumar Upadhyay under the Maharashtra Prevention of Dangerous Activities (MPDA). Zubair, resident of Plot Number One Thirty Eight, Vana Devi Nagar slums, having serious offences. Nature type including attempt of murder, robbery, and duketi were registered against him at Yashodara Nagar, Kapil Nagar, and Pajpali police station. Last year, police had taken preventive action against him under Section 110A of the Code of Criminal Procedure. However, he continued indulging in criminal activities. Finally, the city police chief issued his detention order under the MPTA. The detention of Zubair done under the guidance of DCP Zone Fine Lord Pulsar. Zubair is now shifted to central jail. Three anti-social elements attacked a truck driver and looted cash and cell phone collectively worth Rs. 12,000 from him at a Jari Patka area on Sunday night. A resident of a district Banda Uttar Pradesh Mankaj, Ramautar Kushwa, aged about 31 years, parked his truck near Bharat Petrol Pump at Martin Nagar around 11 p.m. As he went down to check the diesel tank, three goons suddenly attacked him and demanded Rs. 15,000. The Dukats demanded vehicle paper to him and when Pankaj asked them about the department they belonged, they attacked him with knives and looted Rs. 4,000 cash from his pocket. While fleeing, they also snatched his cell phone worth Rs. 8,000. Injured, Pankaj asked for the assistance of petrol pump workers but they did not pay heed to him. Somehow, a biker helped him to rush to Jaripatka police station. Later on duty, PI provided medical aid to Pankaj and registered case under section 397 and 34 of the IPC and launched search. A matter was arrested in this regard as per the sources reported. JE NEET exams finally initiated from 1st September after a long dramatic chase. On 1st September, JEE main exam executed. The exam scheduled between 1st and 6th September. A long political drama was observed during the last few days over these exams as most of the opposition were not in favor of taking the exams now under the pandemic situation of COVID-19. Most of the political parties were not favorable for the exams of JEE NEET under the threat of COVID-19 and regularly demanded for the postponed considering the effect of corona over the students' health. Including Mamta Banerjee, Rahul Gandhi and even BJP MP Subramanian Swami asked to postpone the examination and also compared this decision with Congress party's earlier decision for family planning. But now all the dramatized version ended up with the execution of the timely exams. Total 8,67,000 of students registered their name for these exams from several parts of the region. A review meeting over flood situation at East Vidarbha region ended up at the Divisional Commissioner's Office on Tuesday. First Minister Nagpur Nitin Rao, First Minister Chandrapur Vijayavade Tiwar, MP Kupal Tumane, MLA Ashish Jaiswal, Dekchan Savarka, along with District Collector Ravidra Thakre and Divisional Commissioner Sanjeev Kumar were present during the discussion. A review over the flood situation occurred in the East Vidarbha region was discussed and it was decided to make the assessment of the losses around the region. All the local representatives from the region urged to provide relief to the affected people at the earliest. As per the Marathi calendar on the occasion of Ananda Chattada Sri Ganesh festival concludes with emotional farewell to Sri Ganesha. Sri Ganesha festival starts with Ganesh Chaturthi and celebrated all over the nation for 10 days in a two format at individual home and jointly by the organization at various places. This year, due to COVID pandemic, Ganesh Utsav celebrated with a lot of restrictions. At both the levels home and public, the Ganesh idols were small and no public gathering was allowed. The effect of Corona seen over the and the Chaturthi Sri Ganesh Visarjan also as all the legs were banned for the emergence of the idol. Local administration made all the arrangements at the bank of the lakes in the form of artificial emergent tank. NMC also prepared 10 emergent mobile tanks for 10 zones and made available for the people where no home emergent facilities are available. All the Ganesh devotees urged God to take away the disease and again make the nation corona and worry free. With the Jai Ghosh of Ganpati Bappa Moria, Purcha Varshi Lavkariya, all given emotional farewell to Lord Ganesha. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with Indian News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take good, good care of yourself.